This MIDI Wrist Unleashed tutorial shows you how to connect it to another device. I'm using the phone in this example because it neatly aligns in the frame and it's small enough to record in one video. MIDI Wrist Unleashed is not connected at the moment and you can see that because the preset name at the top is red and the connection icon has a line through it. If you tap it, it allows you to start scanning for MIDI devices that support Bluetooth LE MIDI. I'm going to start scanning and it's waiting to discover these MIDI devices. On my phone, I have an app called Animoxy, which is a synthesizer that you can download for free and the basic functionalities are freely usable. So let's use that one. You can go to the settings panel here and then MIDI. And here you have to advertise this device as becoming available as a Bluetooth LE MIDI peripheral. In Animoxy, you do that by tapping BT Bluetooth transmit and I'm advertising the service. Now you see that it appeared in MIDIRIST Unleashed and I can tap it to connect to it. Now that it's connected, I can close the connection panel and you can see that the preset name is now white. If I press on done, you can see that two MIDI ports have been added in Animoxy Apple Watch 9 Bluetooth. I'm going to select the first one so that it is being used as the input. Now let's go back to the orbs panel, which is the first panel. What we want to do is control some of the behavior of this panel with the knobs of Meteorist Unleashed. An easy way to do that is to go back to settings here, and this is a specific Animoxy feature, and use the Map MIDI functionality. When I press on Map MIDI, I will go back to the panel I was before, and it will highlight the controls that can be configured over MIDI. In this case, I want to control the rate knob, which will change the rate of the path in which comets that make sound will be orbiting. To do that, I will tap this knob, and then in MIDIRIST Unleashed, all I have to do is turn the digital crown to use the knob at the top. And you see that Animoxy has learned that it is number 74, the CC message number 74. Now let's do another one. Let's do Origin X. I'm going to disable this knob in, Animo, in MIDI Wrist Unleashed and enable the second knob here. Turn the digital crown. And now it has learned that this is 71. I can now leave MIDI Learn Mode. And as I use the first knob, you will see that the knob here turns together with the digital crown. And if I use the second knob, you will see that the line, which is the origin of this line will change, the X position will change with the knob. And let's now make some sound. So I'll enable the hold button and tap a few keys to have an arpeggio playing. And as it so turns out, these other two knobs are actually standard knobs. Knob 3 is Mod Wheel. You can see that it enables the Mod Wheel here. And knob 4 is Volume. So I can reduce or increase the volume of the synthesizer. And I can use all of this at the same time. So this is an example of how you can use MediaRist Unleashed with an app on your iPhone. Thanks for watching.